What is going on YouTube? It is Mr. Gamer Squatch yet again visited by The King of Games 98. Not 96 or 97, but 98. Yes. And today's <clears throat> actually going to be a really good unboxing because originally I had ordered this Darth Vader figure uh and it was the vintage collection. Yeah, as he yeah, it's the Vintage Collection Empire Strikes Back uh, 40th Anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. And I originally thought I was actually getting this one. But, me and my stupidness not reading clearly in descriptions, uh, didn't realize I was getting the Vintage Collection one. So, so we're going we're gonna to call this a fair trade. Well, well, yes. An even trade. But then we're also going to call this story A Tale of Two Darth Vaders. <laughs> Not two kitties. No. But two Vaders. Yes. Two pussies. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this is actually going to be a good video for comparing the two figures as well. Because, I mean, at first look, they look exactly identical. Yeah. You know? Like, I mean, as far as, like, height and looks, everything looks pretty much identical. So, we'll take out this one out of the box, because now this is mine, and this is Brandon's. Yep. And so, we're going to do, like, a good little side-by-side. -side. So, like, if you ever do manage to score yourself this one, you don't have to worry about getting this one, nor yeah. taking this one out of the box. Yeah, and I don't... I, I don't know if I'm going to open that. Cause I, I, I wouldn't. I, I really didn't. I didn't want to. That's I, why it still didn't. I know. <laughs> I, I really like it in the packaging, and I like it even more because it's got the 40th anniversary for Empire Strikes Back, and Empire is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. So. Yeah, it is very nice. So, it is a very nice figure, and just the box alone oh, being the retro style, I, I vintage know. style, I, whatever. I, I, I love the packaging. The, the, the packaging is just iconic Kenner. Exactly. So, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into this unboxing, and we're going to have this guy, we'll just have this guy hanging out in the back right there for now. Uh, let's let's just have him right there. You, you can still see it right there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, let's get on in. I'm pretty sure I give you guys a nice look. I, I like the new style boxes, honestly, whether it's the Camino clone or even that little uh, range trooper. That'll be a yep. future episode when it gets closer to holiday times. You'll find that. La, 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 la. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Shut up, Mariah Carey." No, I. I don't want to hear that shit yet. It's still November. <laughs> no, trust me. I don't. I. I actually, I, I, I actually can't stand that song. I can't. People either. have ruined that song for me. The fact that they play it thirty billion times yes. the day right after Halloween ruined that yes. song for me. Um. So, do we actually want to uh, tell the story of how I came? Yeah, why not? To... Do you give you tell your little okay. you tell your little tale while I butcher this box by accidentally cutting the actual box, not the tape. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah, right. It's not your figure anymore. Why do you give a shit? <laughs> well, it's like it's just a box anyway. Exactly. Okay, so this is a tale of two Darth Vaders. So. It's not Gabriel Glacius' uh, racist gift basket. It's not going to be no, that funny. No. It's not going to be that funny. No. Uh, so this past Wednesday night... Or, oh, okay, so uh, let me let me go before that. I pre-ordered two Black Series figures a while back. In case you're wondering which two. The Gaming Greats Darth Nihilus figure from What's the Old Republic 2. And the Gaming Greats Electro Staff Purge Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. Well... Then we fast forward to this past Wednesday night at around 5 o'clock p.m. I get a call from the game, from the GameStop that I pre-ordered both at. Uh, now, mind you, earlier this past Monday, I actually was able to pick up my Darth Nihilus figure because they already with got me because we went uh, Target and Walgreens. Yes, buying. because they already got that one in. Yes, and then Wednesday evening, specifically at around 5 o'clock p.m. They got my Electro Staff Purge Trooper, and we're like, hey, we got this, you can come get it. And then the guy on the phone told me about how they got an extra one of the Holiday Edition Troopers that I didn't already have, and he asked me if I wanted him to hold that as well, so I told him yes, of course. And I brought a couple of uh, PS4 controllers that I wanted to trade in, and so what ended up happening was, I walked in, I got my Electro Staff Perch Trooper, which I already had paid off, mind you. And then I had to obviously pay for the Holiday Edition Trooper. 
But then, as I turned around and looked at the little Star Wars display, I saw that they had this specific Darth Vader figure there, and I was like, oh, that's the one Tyler wanted, and I was like, do I call him or do I buy it? Do I call it or do I just buy it for him? So, I just grabbed it for him thinking, you know, he's probably not going to come right out and get this, so let me just grab it for him. So, what ended up happening was... Yeah, my bank account would have would have beaten me. <laughs> what ended not up my parents, just my bank account alone would have been like, no! Stop buying shit! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what ended up happening was the three controllers I traded in paid for the Holiday Edition Trooper and this Darth Vader figure and then had still $8 left over and for whatever reason they could not give the, they could not add that to my trade credit card and instead just gave it to me in cash. It was really weird. That is very weird but, since they usually do give you a trade credit card. Yeah. Well, well no, I already had one and I was like, uh, Can you just put it on this and he said, "Yeah." And then I went to swipe it and then he was like, "Oh no, our things like not letting us do that, so I have to give it to you in cash." Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay. But uh yeah, that's how I came to acquire this figure and then as Tyler will tell you, uh I literally called him right when I was in, sitting in my truck after I got in it in the parking lot to tell him that. Yeah, and then he looks like some stranger just talking to himself in his car. Yeah. I got to say I'm liking the fact that this is a really nice cloth cape Dude, and all that but cape looks awesome. But there is just there's too much cape. He looks oh my, like Oh my god, wait, the the cape looks look <laughs> It's a goddamn robe. <laughs> it's a full freaking robe. Holy shit. Wait, the cape looks longer than the figure. It kind of is. Oh my god. It's kind of longer than the figure, and it is a lot longer than it needs to be, because holy like, shit. Like, Look at this. Batman. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> Darth Knight. Da, na, 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 na. Darth Knight. Because this am, is so much goddamn cape. Holy shit. Night. Okay, well, it's like, if, if you compare it to Captain Cardinal over there... Well, Captain Cardinal has the correct amount of length well, that, of that's, cape. That's, that's what I was about to say. And, I'm and being, he's actually taller than Captain Cardinal, which is nice because Dar Darth Vader is actually a pretty tall person. Mm -hmm. The actor and character in general. But, you see... And a little now, Umbreon over there. Now, mind you, Captain Cardinal doesn't have, like, the full cape going around him completely like No, Vader, because but, that's a captain's cape, not, yes. you know... But still... It's not that freaking long that it's longer than the figure. It's longer than the figure, and it is so much more extra than it needs to be. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's not like he's walking like no. an actor. It's a figure. It's a yeah. toy. It's, it's, it's just going to be gonna, sitting here. It's going to most likely... I'm just, I'm just going to be putting it on top of my... Me. I'm just going to be putting it on top of my uh, my trilogy, uh, VHS trilogy over there, know, honestly. Like, like, as I'm, a display with my... With my uh, let's free you guys up. My giant Darth Vader up there. Like, okay, let's be real. Whose parents are actually going to buy these for their little kids? The if if you don't have 20-something, 30-something-year-old losers like us coming and buying them to collect. Yes, but no. Because, <laughs> well, well, yes, yeah, but no. But, okay, <laughs> be, be realistic with me here. It says on the box is four and up, but still... What parent do you know is going to spend twenty to twenty five dollars on one action figure for their little kid to well, play with? Any any parent nowadays because they don't have a choice because shit's getting expensive from inflation. But we're not here for that TED talk. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit that I am a twenty two year old who does collect action figures. Yeah, but you're not also raiding the freaking boxes as soon as they get to the store. No, I'm not that bad. No. Not yet. And Nope. nope, nope <laughs> He's like, nope, never will be. Nope, nope. And I'm not a scalper either. No, I hate those people. That'll literally get to the store before anybody else, steal it out of the box before they get to the shelves, and then go back home and sell it on Facebook Marketplace for 40 or $50. Let's be honest, because me and Tyler... Okay, I gotta, I gotta say, I do like the way it looks now with the overflowing cape, but it is still just okay, a lot. That, that pose looks really cool. Thank you. Now... Okay, we're not going to get on a whole rant or soapbox about scalpers, but let's be honest here. Because me and Tyler have seen this a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Way too much, to be honest. And it's 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 not even funny. It's kind of gotten a little out of hand to the point where me and Tyler send each other back and forth listings. And our reactions are either like, what the are, fuck? Do you or, believe this bullshit? Uh, yep, 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 that's, that's it. I gotta say, I do, like I said, I am 
a lot more in love than with this than I initially okay. thought I was going to be. Okay, so speaking of scalpers. Oh shit. And I swear I'm not going to keep talking about this. This is the only thing I'm going to say, and it has to do with the figure. This figure, uh, which I did find and buy at GameStop, uh, was retail twenty two dollars ninety nine cents. Yes. So I'll leave a link in the description for anybody else that wants to get this yes. for themselves. So just so you guys know that going into this, and for the record, in case whoever is watching this doesn't already know this, this is not a GameStop exclusive figure. This is not any store exclusive figure. This is just your average everyday Star Wars Black Series six inch Darth Vader figure. Yep. You should literally be able to go in any GameStop, Target, Wal Walmart, even Best Buy. Yeah. And you could probably get this figure. It's just going to be impossible because of all the fucking scalpers. Yes. Part, yeah, demonetize me, YouTube. I don't give a shit. Yes. But for the record, retail this figure is twenty two ninety nine. Yeah. Or maybe it's just 20 bucks, and GameStop felt like charging 23 I don't know. Well, I mean, with tax, it goes to 23 Oh no 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 no! On on the actual uh, when he when he rang it up like all my receipt it was twenty two ninety nine. Yeah, and a plus tax comes to twenty three. Oh oh yes. Because you're like yes. for some yes, reason yes, they decided yes. twenty three. I'm like it's the same price. Oh well, yeah. It's the same yeah. Fisher price. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no yeah I know what you mean so but uh yeah so if anybody's asking for more than that oh you're I, crazy. I would not pay that. I wouldn't even pay $25, an extra $3. I would not pay that for the convenience of no. buying it off somebody on, nope. online. I would just go to the store and pay less than that in tax. Mm -hmm. So that's, I hate those people with a burning freaking passion. Absolutely. But other than that, I am, like I said, I'm actually really in love. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Darth Vader. As, like, great, a character in general. Great I, character. I, great character, and also great. just... Episode 3 is always my favorite, where it's the origin of Darth Vader, because exactly. it's it's Anakin turning to the dark side. Mm -hmm. And that, besides the fact that it's killing kids, <laughs> is my favorite movie of all time. Of all the entire series. Honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all can shit on the trilogy all you want, all the, on the prequel trilogy all you want. I absolutely love Star Wars Episode 3. The musical scores of them slaughtering the Jedi like pigs and the music behind Darth Vader's immersion as from Anakin is superb. I really shouldn't be laughing at that. That's really not funny. I shouldn't be talking about it in confidence either, but here we are. <laughs> so. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, but um yes, episode 3 is my absolute all-time favorite uh ep uh you know, Star Wars movie and Darth Vader being voiced by James Earl Jones. Iconic. Absolutely. A absolutely iconic. Absolutely iconic. To, to add on to what you said, uh iconic character, iconic backstory, and yes. I would say great backstory at that. Absolutely. And, you know, since earlier in this I did mention Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars movie. I think that is the biggest, like, I don't I don't know what you would call it, spoiler, plot twist, whatever, of... It's just a big, it's a really good anti-hero movie. Yeah. Uh, or anti-movie story, I yeah, should, or uh, anti-hero story, I should say, because, you know, every movie has the happy ending, where the good defeats yes. evil, and all this. No, episode three, everybody fucking dies, and the hero becomes a villain. Yep. That is the best movie. That's why I love Joker. This is why I love episode three. Yes. This is why I love movies like this. Now, you see, getting back with what I was saying about Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> yes. that whole scene where Luke Skywalker goes to Bespin, and then he finds Darth Vader, and then he has that lightsaber duel with him, and then it goes to the iconic scene on the little bridge tower thing, and he goes, I am your father. That scene and that just whole moment is just so iconic in Star Wars history. Well, because, I mean, also nobody expected it either exactly. for, the, for the hero to be related to the villain. Exactly, and like, still to this day, I think that is the biggest and most significant part scene, whatever you want to call it, in the history of Star Wars movies. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and so... And plus, yeah. that was the first movie to feature Boba Fett. Well, of course. I mean, well, well, well okay, Boba Fett and the others, uh, IG-88. Yeah, nobody gives a uh, shit. <laughs> nobody gives uh, a shit about Zuckus. Uh, but 
<laughs> nobody Bosk. fuckus. Nobody fuckus yeah. with rock, with Zuckus. Yes. Yeah. Bosk, Zuckus, and Forlom. Yeah. Nobody even remembers half of them. No, Only IG no. Eleven because of uh, or is IG eighty eight or eleven? IG eighty eight was in Empire Strikes Back. IG eleven was Mandalorian. That's what it was. I knew it was IG something. I mean, it's the wasn't same. he in uh, Clone Wars with Cad Bane, or was that a different IG something? I mean, that's that's the same series droid. Yeah, but I didn't know if it was the same number or not. But I either way, I don't think so. But it was. It, it, you're basically right. It was the same droid. Yeah, but getting back same to model. this, uh, this is quite literally the same exact action figure that they're trying to resell to you. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'm kind of noticing is on the armor here, it's a little bit more glossy than on here. This is more of a matte finish for the uh, shoulder pad armor. Excuse me. I mean, yeah. And this is a, this figure is a little bit bigger too because you can see on the edges here where the around the uh, little control panel there, uh, there's a lot more to show besides the. The fabric on here, this the fabric on here is not showing as much, mm -hmm. but uh, it is a little bit of a bulkier figure, per se, from the looks of it. So I mean, but other than that, it is quite identical in every way as far as like height and all. And I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're doing these comparisons right now, Tyler, because well, it's good that you you know we did this and we were able you know we're trading it and all. Yeah. So well, when I when I don't want to see it. I'm gonna do a little off-camera work, as we uh, YouTubers say. When when I <laughs> when I first brought the uh, uh, figure over, and you know we did our trade, uh, the first thing after we did our trade was you were like, "Is that the same figure, just in different packaging?" Well, when you first showed me it before this, before we made the trade, mm -hmm. I had asked you. I'm like, "Isn't this uh, pretty much the same thing, but with a removable packaging?" I'm pretty sure it is. It pretty much is. It it looks identical to me. Absolutely. I'm trying to do it the way he is on the box here, with holding it with the two hands like that. Oh, that looks that looks cool. There we go. I got it. Very cool. Because I mean, just like on the box, yeah. you know, holding it with the two hands, like nice. you know, like you're supposed to be, nice. like a real, like a real duel instead of just Sword. instead of just fucking swinging it wildly like a bat. <laughs> fucking trilogy, se <laughs> sequel trilogy bullshit. Suck my dick, Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> I'm so glad that she's leaving Lucasfilm. Is she? I didn't yes. know. I didn't know what was going on yes. with that anymore. She she is officially... I don't know if she got... I don't know if she uh, retired or if she got fired or if she quit. But all I know is at a certain date, which I don't remember what the date was, she is leaving. Thank God. Yes. Maybe I'll go back to church now. Maybe there is a god. So, yeah, like I said, that is, uh, this is the, um, I believe it's number one, is, it is. what they marked it as. It is, in the, in the new line of Empire Strikes Back figures. Yes, it is numero uno. Ooh, getting multicultural in here, man. <laughs> uh, numero uno. And as it says on the back here, you probably read it when I was looking at the box, where it says, After the destruction of the Death Star, Darth Vader became obsessed with finding Luke Skywalker. He had dispatched probe droids across the galaxy, finally locating the rebel base on the remote ice planet Hoth. That's weird, because normally they give like a little bio to the character, not the opening to a fucking movie. Yeah, but... <laughs> Uh, well, okay, yeah, no, you're you're definitely not wrong, but I guess what they were going for, since it says specifically on the box, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, I guess they were trying to set the scene for this. And you know what else I'm, not, I'm also character. noticing here on the cape, on the neck, it doesn't have the chain. Like, I mean, obviously you don't see it there, but like on the box here, you do yep. see the chain that mm -hmm. is supposed to be along the cape there. They didn't really add that on this figure here. Uh, let's see if we can... I mean, you don't really need it in focus to see that, but that's what I'm kind of noticing. But if you do have it sitting back far enough, uh, then you won't really need to try and notice it, I guess. Another thing I would really like to get, the uh, the Black Series uh, Darth Vader helmet that, like, comes apart in the different pieces. Mm -hmm. I would love to have that. And I saw it on Marketplace for, like, $65. Hmm. And I'm like, if only I had money. That doesn't sound like too bad of a Normally, price. it's 85 
Okay, it's yeah. It's 85, I believe, if okay. not 90 brand new, just like any other Stormtrooper yeah, outfit. I was about to say, them, them Black Series helmets are expensive. Like any Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, oh, yeah. TIE Fighter pilot, or any kind of Trooper helmet yeah, is them, like $90. Yeah, they're usually really expensive. But it was also out of the box and not with a box, so it was 65 being, like I said, it, it is very detailed with it being taken apart and all that to mm -hmm. wear and to display. But yeah, so um, I think that'll pretty much wrap it up for this uh, for this video today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you haven't already, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to the King of Ninety Eight to Thank King of Games Ninety Eight. I can't talk today. That's okay. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, and hopefully you guys found this uh, to be pretty informative as far as like you know how the figure looks, uh, which one you should try and buy. That's that's the only thing I can really ex like express express enough is read the description don't be stupid like me uh, yeah don't don't just click, read the full don't, description don't, look at every single picture yeah, you possibly don't, can don't just click buy it now real quick yeah i mean i read the description just not enough to where it says vintage collection or in the retro style boxing or mm -hmm. you know vintage style boxing mm -hmm. that's where they got me because otherwise i was fully expecting this box but you know what it's uh i guess fate comes comes full circle and uh you know, here we are now. It worked out good. Yeah. I'm just not going to get the $10 in uh, same same day release day shipping that I uh, missed out on. But, like I said, at least I have the figure. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Game Games 98 I and have, check out some of our videos. Yep, I have a whole playlist of just Black Series figure unboxings I've done on my channel. <laughs> exactly. And so, uh, I hope you guys stay happy, stay healthy. May the Force be with you. And fuck Kathleen Kennedy!